and welcome to part two of session six. Welcome. I'm very proud of you. Thank you. I tried my best. That's a lie. I did not try my best. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. There it's a hard it. life. <laughs> so who remembers what happened last time? <laughs> well, we set um, anyway. start fire. <laughs> 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 so yes, um, Ovik, you're met with this uh, screaming um, elf lady of a woodish variety. Um, uh, and as she does that, she kind of like just stares intently at you. Um, intensely. Still screaming? Or... At you, still screaming. Uh, and she like claps her hands together and disappears. And How where far she's... away was she? Uh, probably about seeing feet, maybe about I don't know, maybe six to to eight feet away. Okay. Yeah. Um, and where she um where she was it is like uh the burnt into like the the ground is the um hail hydra type to blue do. Okay. Yeah. Kind of like not like burned in, but like kind of like sooty. Um, okay. thing. So like, did, like you could kick it and it would disappear. When she disappeared, but... did that make that or like what, what did yeah, she so, way, um, did she summer way teleport? Yeah, she like she clapped her hands together and as she disappeared that appeared oh. where she was. The old yeah. switcheroo. The old switcheroo. Oh the switching ploy. Yes. Uh, and I think I think it's probably like deathly quiet it's you know that like quiet with like a deafening silence type um vibe can i stop being a, a guard now no um yes <laughs> of course you can oh of course that's, that's something we never actually uh, think yeah about. i never stopped being a guard yeah um <laughs> so i guess i guess um Maybe you explained to Ovek and Emu that no, I'm not a guard. I am. Well, they knew before, and then I was with yeah. them. Yeah. Oh no, not them. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but that's fine. But we can just we can ignore that. It's fine. I Potholes. don't know if you can stop being the guard. Does it say you can stop the spell? Oh, that's a good point. That's and ridiculous. it might. I just haven't seen the words that say that yet. If that's the case, then all I'm going to do is cast the spell again, but take the form of Gorm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can use your action just to miss it. It was at the start. I was looking near the end. That's fine. Oh, yeah, it is at the start. <laughs> yes, it's just yes, anything can. with a duration doesn't automatically end when you want it to. It needs to say you can choose to end it, whereas concentration stuff, you can end whenever you stop thinking about it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Sure. Oh. Carry on. No, it's, carry on. No. Yeah. It's um. So you've got kind of got this. Is um. It's just really quiet. I think everyone kind of noticed the temperature drops a bit more, and it's like pitch, starting to get like a dark, dark outside. Um. As as it kind of gets a bit later. Um. And you're just kind of left standing there. Um, Is the place still in danger? No, it's it's pretty fine. Like there's there's not it does nothing seems to be even like smoldering now, um, at all. Like it's it's like like the the heat that was there from from the whole like place being on fire, you know, is is like gone, gone as if it's been gone for you know. Days. Can I roll Arcana on yeah. what she cast to see if I know how far away roughly? Like, is it worth me running around the town to see if she teleported like thirty feet away or five hundred feet away? Or yeah, yeah, really uh, you, can, you can if you want. I mean, I'm no, of course you can't. We know how well till we know how well till the rules. So here we go. Oh, hey, bam. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you, you no, 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 no. Was it a first level spell? <laughs> yes. No. Um, 
say it, but like, yeah, I think you kind of get the the vibe that she's like running through the town's probably not going to do you any good to yeah, try and find. Yeah, yeah. If she's cast magic beyond what I'm able to do, serve within in the living, then yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> she's as far as everybody than I care to run. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe if you gave Emu some magic um, speed boots. It would be worth Emu's time, but uh, Emu, take my magic speed boots the GM gave me. <laughs> oh, was that last night? <laughs> Did you just ask me no, for a load of things, and I went, "Yep." That was like three hours ago. <laughs> if you give Victor money, he'll give you it. Oh my! Ooh. Um, wait, that's the key to this. <laughs> Somehow, apparently. That's it. Yeah. So, um, what, what, what are we up to, gentle folk? I, you know, just I want to go to the the central point of this building and wait for like the the one the sixty seconds till our flag color appears over the enemy flag color and it's our building. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> um, you kind of see like the, the 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 capture point bar um oh. starting to like rise and as like you know. Maybe Movic steps forward a little bit and kind of goes up a bit quicker. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Um, Before anyone else gets to say, I'm going to say, "What the fuck?" <laughs> hey. That's <laughs> copyright infringement. What the frick? And, and I'm going to take out go. her draw. Give a cheeky smile for the first time. Yeah. Can Emu take out her drawing? Say, dot, dot, dot. Um, can Can Emu take out her drawing? Yes, you her can. drawing of the original inscription and make sure that it is identical as the one that's. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you like, um, you you copied it pretty good into your book. As you you kind of look at it, I think you kind of feel that the um, as you take out your book and you look at it, um, maybe you kind of like step up towards the the symbol on the floor, and as you do, you kind of feel, um, like the book is pulling towards the. The, the the symbol on the floor, if that makes sense. It's drawn to it. It's drawn to it. Who would have thunk it? You it's thought you drew the, the the picture, but the picture is now being drawn to the to the floor. Um, it's not like a super like it's not like just dragging you along and going take me to the circle. It's um you know it's it's just kind of like you feel like 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 if you have strong magnets that are like close enough that you can just feel the. The sort of like desire to to be together. Is it visibly obvious to somebody standing nearby, or is it subtle that only Emu can tell because it's in her hands? Um, I think I'm gonna leave that to Emu. I think it'd be one of those things where, um, okay. it's not strong enough to like make you just go, "Oh, my arm," but it could give like some visible um tugging if like if Emu wasn't like just like holding it solid. I don't know how solid. Emu's boot grip is, you know. Tilda, would you, is there anything that you make of this? And when you say make of this, what, what are you... Doing? Yeah, I just sort of hold up the, the drawing and, like, show that it's... Like being close towards the center. Aye. Have you tried letting it go? And I just shrug. I would rather <laughs> not. Can't you recreate it from memory? I thought me and you both had a very good look at it in session one. <laughs> <laughs> session one? She's holding her script up. Yes, I definitely remember both of us looking. And she turns the pages of the script back. Um, I, I guess I'll just step back. Still holding on to it. Not letting it. And then, yeah, I guess I just shrug at you, because obviously that's what she did last, and then I say, if you want to find out more, nothing ventured, and then gesture to the center. The center gestures back. Oh. Find out more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, there's... No response from Emu to that, no. Yeah, I'd probably just put it back. <laughs> back. Okay, yeah. Uh, I think I guess I just look a bit 
a bit disappointed. Yeah. Um, I, th- I think because there's nothing like, okay, well that that was a, a clue, but I guess it's not a clue. Um, <laughs> um I think uh, uh, Emu, as you like, if you like close the book over you, I think you feel the noticeable like the the sort of like pulling force is just dis- disappears. Um, can I try uh, the same with the dagger? Uh, I mean, yes, you can. Like, um, I know it's a dumb. No, no, but it, it, it doesn't. Say, there's dagger. no such thing as a dumb uh, idea. Oh, it's in the correlation. So, yeah, I can just wave it near. You know, um, I maybe yeah. try and close my eyes and like with one hand behind the dagger and make it look more mystical when I know I'm just waiting to see if it tugs. But yeah, like, yeah. um, <laughs> no, there's there's no tugging from the thing. I've got that kind of um, uh, father. <laughs> Guide Necromancy. my sword. <laughs> Guide my sword. Um, Princess Bride reference for anyone. I mean, there. honestly, um, like I know you're thinking Princess Bride, but like let's go even more dramatic, shall we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Yep. Yeah. So um. Warm. Yeah, as you kind of like pull out the knife, I think, yeah, it looks really dramatic. I think maybe if anyone's kind of looking at you, it, it does have that sort of like, oh, you know, the swelling build up of music as you kind and of like reach it. Yeah, and um, then you open your eyes and go, well, oh, nothing happened. I'll just store the item away again then. Yep. And I'm like, yep, yeah, well, I tried. And then, so look around to see if there's anything worthy of notice beyond the scoring of the floor. There's a box, no. Um, uh, like no, yeah, it's um, there's like as I said, there's kind of like a stage at the back. It's like a, a multi sort of purpose stage. There's some seating on it just now, which is where the council would have sat if they were about. Um, I guess most notably is that although like all the people that you've seen up till now seemed to be heading to the the towards the inner circle. But you haven't actually seen anybody um, in the inner circle or around the inner circle either. Um, Let me just say, I think that Ulvik um, would sort of realise that this is magic stuff and the magic people are investigating up. So he'll just go and like sit by the door and keep watch. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Dig Dog, Leo, what, what are you up to? I honestly don't know what I'm up to right now. It's been a while since I've set out. <laughs> Um, last thing I would call doing, I was knocking down buildings and shit. Yes, so you're you're all kind of standing inside the 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 creepy woman screamed at everyone, and she disappeared. And the symbol of the doobly doo is on the floor, the hail hydra cult thing from session one. Hmm. Yes, welcome back. Tixi. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh Christ. I, I, I do apologize. I completely zoned off there. Um, fuck, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I'm just. Sorry, um. Oh man, the pressure's on me now, isn't there? Um, <laughs> the heat is on. Spirit. I dig dog Leo. Expectantly. God's eyes appear. In a, in a deep, me. thundery voice. <laughs> Dig <laughs> Doglio, what does Dig Doglio do next? <laughs> and the awkward silence is broken by... Bort! <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking Bork's gonna jump out of my hair and have a fucking sniff of that shit on the floor. Are you going to tell Borkers to do that? Uh, no, Borkers, Borkers is his own beast. He, he does his own thing, but he, he just jumps out of my hair, runs down my back. The most elegant movement he's ever actually done before. Yeah. Now, you can you can ask him to do this. Whether or not he will do this is entirely my down to my role. Okay. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you can ask him. Yeah, give me an animal handling. We'll 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 see see how well Borkers receives your order to get off. Just rephrase that next time, Cal. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just realised, okay. Um, oh, the fu- okay. oh my <laughs> lord! Wow. Yeah, there was a massive. Leave the dog lag. alone. <laughs> <laughs> there was a massive amount of lag there on my end. Whoa! 
Just keep clicking. It's not working. I gotta click it more. Yeah. Oh lord. Twenty-one. Then. Barker's dies. <laughs> <laughs> just explodes like um, do you know what no yeah I think I think Barker's uh, jumps off um, and it is really elegant he like goes down your back and then um, I think maybe you kind of motion to the to the picture in the the, the centre what's that boy what's that boy um, and he just walks out the door and uh, in the distance you just hear like a nice little bork you dick <laughs> I'm gonna chase after him six. bork bork <laughs> Mark. Tell her just rolls her eyes in the middle of all this. Like, yes. Oh my god. And they scream, obviously. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I just leave. Head back to the, yeah. To the caravan, by the way. Like that's, I'm just like I've got nothing. So I'm. Yeah, I'm just that's gonna, fine. Follow, follow the dog. Him. Yeah. Um, yeah. Barker's leads you like straight back to the, to um the the sort of um. I keep attempting keep to start to... fires on my way back, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Like, <laughs> you walk out. There's thunderous applause from the masses of. Oh, no, there's no one there. Um, I got by anyway. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Just start g building my own delusions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thinking of thinking of the the potential of this town as your new kingdom. Um, the <laughs> does that is everyone just kind of like following on, or is anyone wanting to to do anything in the doobly doo? Oh, there was nothing to notice in the place. No, like a there was definitely no leave. parchments or records anywhere. Um, I mean, there's there's probably like on the wall, there's like a list of all the councillors who ever were, um, part of the thingy with dating back, you know, however long. Um, is there but any there's no filing like cabinet. Where they there's no filing cabinet. Um, meetings, notes, minutes. no box storage location. It says does not contain classified information. Wink. Psych. <laughs> <laughs> this is like uh, there's there's a big sign that says ain't no box here. Uh, what box? <laughs> You're a box. Um, Definitely not a virus. Just a dolphin. <laughs> so yeah. Like, cool. Is MD staying in the town center? No, I'm not. Cool. I think uh, as we walk out. Um, Ovik walking next to you, uh, Tilda, just sort of say, uh, we need to find this powers guy and just get out of here. I don't trust this town. I think um, Tilda just pushes down her hood and just runs her hands over her head and just kind of exhales slowly and then just nods once. Doesn't even like look at you once during this, just kind of nods once and then like doubles her efforts to get back to the, the caravan yeah um i think as the if we have what's the sort of like order of of people now uh, if we've got a kind of tilda and ovek at the front um where's where's oh, Bar at? barker's at the front no oh, barker's at the front obviously leading the way but um Big chasing after him. come back here <laughs> bork um uh, the he, he, yeah, so like where's where's like a Goromimu, um, big dog wheel in the sort of order of things. Um, I can imagine myself being last, just nonchalantly following, keeping one eye on them and just sort of gazing around. Cool. Um, and so if we have kind of like you at the back, um, Emu. Uh, yeah, probably. I'm just uh, walking along the, just behind us until the end. And Ovec. Yeah, that's fine. So we kind of have like Barkers, Tilda Ovec, um, then like Emu, and then Dick Dog Wheel close behind, and then uh, Gorm sort of ambling. Um, not as quickly as everyone else. Um, uh, Gorm, do you want to give me like a perception he doobly do? Um and while you do that, um the front guys Tilda Movek and Emu, I guess. Uh, <laughs> can I for example, can I roll with advantage since it's me and Ovek up front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team, um, team perception. Yeah. So I'll have a nosy of that. Uh, shabam. It's not a crit. 
I'll do it again. It's not cool. <laughs> Um, no, it's just, no, don't no, um, <laughs> it's uh, Dig Dog you too as well. Um, <laughs> oh fuck it, right here we go. Just, just like by, just by yourself, just uh, no advantage or anything. Because, okay. Yeah, nice. cool. <laughs> the best one. <laughs> uh, I'll go from the back. So British Gorm, you're walking. You're kind of looking around. Uh, you don't really see anyone or anything, but um, you're, you're feeling pretty good. Yeah, there's, there's like. I don't know, there's this sort of like welcoming feeling that you're getting from, from the town. You're like, yeah, no, people here, people here are probably nice. Nice folk. Mm. Um, if we go, um, so kind of everyone at the front, I think everyone at the front definitely notices like how cold it's got now at this point. Um, My tabaxi fur is too warm. Your tabaxi fur is far too warm, that's what it is. Um. You know, Dick Dog Leo, maybe you get a bit of a chill. Um, Tilda, you definitely noticed this as well, but it's, you know, it's getting it's dark. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so um, the the wind coming, that, that kind of east uh, westerly wind is, um, excuse me, is, is a bit chillier than the north wind. Um, That's so, the fire's like died out. Do you? Yeah, we, we dealt with that. We, we dealt with that. Well, where where, where yeah. have you been, man? Well, um, I know. I, yeah. Grr. Um, Emu, again, you you feel that that like that chill in the air, um, and as as you kind of like reach like the the caravan, um, and you, you look out, you see the fog, um, has come come a bit closer, and um, you can you can tell that the the goblin shapes are indeed goblins, um, but as you kind of like look at them, you you start to feel like they're familiar for lack of a better word um you, you, you kind of see that um some are kind of hobbling um there's one kind of just standing there at like the forefront of the fog um and it seems to be staring you down well it would be if uh, its uh, eyes were um completely intact but uh, i think maybe we have like a, a cut back to to emu just like pounding this little goblin lord in the face over and over and over again after he's been downed. Um, and they're just kind of like staring at you with the the, the fog there. Um, being, and I, I guess all like you kind of see the fog and the shapes. Okay. Uh, great. Um, in, is that in like the direction of the um, so that's like in the direction of the gate. So um, yeah, so this is like inside or outside? Huh? Inside Where or outside the city? Outside the city. Okay. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's how we approach the city, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. From basically okay. from the way you came in. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay. So um, maybe I just sort of motion that we should hurry up and get back to the caravan place. I think we're there, right? Yeah, so yeah, like if you're, you're right, so if we're like right, so they're they're like my brain's not working. There, no, that's fine. Um, um, shit. So like the caravan place would be like as you come in here. Yeah. Um, you're probably uh, thinking with like the, the caravans there. Um. So yeah. Hmm. Um, and these guys are. This is happening. What seems to be like here. Yeah. Uh, does Emu or Dig Dog Leo recognize them as, for example, for lack of a better description, zombie versions of the people we defeated? Um, very, very possibly. I mean, it wouldn't be crazy for um Dig Dog Leo okay. and Emu to um assume okay. that, or at least um. I think I think it's the kind of like the the one that's standing still that's kind of giving um maybe Emu and Dig Dog Wheel that sort of impression. Um because he had been obviously the distinctive armor on. Um well I say armor. Um, Is here's my second creepier question. Does Emu notice the hand she has move? Uh, mm -hmm. no. Emu does not. Okay. 
and, and the goblin body, like, like the in your like <laughs> caravan, does isn't like going. <laughs> Yeah, I was working my way up to that. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. <laughs> cool. Uh, okay. Any, any plan? Because I don't think Tilda notices this, so I think this is no. else. No, I think you just kind of notice the temperature change and how like it's it's just cold. But, just, you know, maybe, it's I'm, it's night time almost. I'll so. like if, I, again if it's cold, and that's maybe why I don't notice anything. If mm -hmm. I notice that, I, I guess I sort of like look at Tilda to see if she notices, and if not, I'll point it out. I mean, you rolled worse than me. So oh, right, okay. you got the nine this. part of ours, right? Mm -hmm. our, our joint efforts were ten and nine. <laughs> okay, so I don't have a clue. No. Excellent. <laughs> we get to kill him twice now. Is that said loud enough for me to at least react? Or yeah, probably it... point and say, we get, get. I gotta just sigh. I need... <sighs> Um, I reach out my dice to roll initiative. Yeah, don't okay. worry about that. In that case, I uh, draw my shield again. What y'all doing? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Barker's kind of stands there and um, j just starts barking um, at can the. I click at the dog and point to the caravan so it can like jump into the window of the caravan or something so it can just get the fuck away from this problem because it knew to hide before so. Is that something? Oh, that you know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's fine. I think he's actually like, barking at the caravan um, as he oh, kind of like yeah. jumps into it. That's worse. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, he jumps in just barking at it. Bark, 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 bark. Bork? <laughs> no, there is not a last bark. Oh. Yeah. Just sorry, what borkers do. Oh. Yeah. Um, and as, as you're kind of. Oops, sorry. Carry on. Wait, wait, this is super important. Is the bark stopped? Yeah, the bark it... have stopped. Yeah. No, was it stopped or did it stop <laughs> naturally? Like, was it like? Burr? Okay, so or, it, mm. that, the way you said that was really upsetting. <laughs> yeah, so the it, there Something wasn't in the caravan stopped barkers barking. No, That's what I'm getting at. The, you'd have to check the caravan, but there wasn't like a but. It was just bark, bark, bark. Yeah, that's totally that's suspect. Oh dear. That's very suspect. What has happened to my dog? Yes, the dog play with your 15. Do you want to justifiably notice that? Which bolt the caravan? The undead. <laughs> Barkers comes out well, is, is the zombie. Um, uh, but no, yeah, yeah, you, you probably noticed that, Dig Dog, though, that the Barkers barking has stopped barking. Stopped suddenly or just sort of stopped the dog like running out of breath barking? Neither it just he just goes bark 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 and then there are no more barks. Well, that ain't like Borkers at all. He just doesn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> bork? I'm fucking running to this caravan. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, as you look I'm at it, Borkers is not in the caravan. Borkers. <laughs> you hear like a, a, an ethereal bark in the the, the distance, like. Bork. But it's just your memory of what he sounded like. Is this you killing off workers? I never said that. First of all, I would never kill off workers. Workers is my favorite character. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, workers is not in the caravan that you definitely saw him jump into. Um, we check in the inn or check in the caravan place. See, if there's guys that we escorted are still there. Uh huh. Um, so like, I think. Maybe um, as like Dig Dog Leo runs to the to the caravan, and I don't know if you exclaim your trademarked "What the fuck" or not. Um, oh, of course. Oh, okay. Um, which is code word for, yeah. Oh, Borkers is gone. Uh, everyone translates that. <laughs> is that uh, the... Borkers riding? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Are we getting a crossover? Because that'd be fun. Cognac. <laughs> Cognac. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I could see a flea bite raging a uh, cognac that way soon. So, um, coming to a Patreon near you. Yeah. So, yeah. As as you do that, you kind of like maybe turn and go into the. I don't, I don't know if you run in oh, and burst the door open or whatever. Yeah. Um. There's what one of the guards is standing at the door. Mm -hmm. As you instructed or whatever, um, and he goes, oh. 
good to see you, sir. Uh, and then opens the door for you because he's a nice guy. Okay. Uh, and you go in. All the merchants minute. seem to be in enjoying a uh, sort of like um, drink and um, having some food and stuff. Yeah. Can I count all eight people, like the four merchants, the four guards? Um, no, I think. Um, I mean, it would be unless you could go and check all the rooms and stuff. But it's, it's I think, it's safe to assume that the fact that they're they're, they're kind of standing there, kind of happy as. Um, merchants who are in a touch all of them to make sure they're not illusions. <laughs> um, I wouldn't think to do that, so no. <laughs> touch That's fair. all of them. Are you going to tell me to do that? Touch all of them. That's all. <laughs> it's the only instructions you've ever had, ever, from Tilda. <laughs> okay. All um, of also, them. also, at no point have I ever mentioned like illusion people, so no, I don't think. <laughs> no. <laughs> So yeah, the guy's still there, like the lad. Um, yeah, I think he's he's um he's he's in like what like at the corner, kind of like eating um something. I think maybe he looks like he's not long risen from his. Is he shit scared of me still? Grave. Oh yes, risen from the dead. <laughs> I think I think actually he he's got that kind of like glazed over expression in his eyes, um, where the the world is just happening around him and he's kind of just stuck in that um like loop of terror in his in his mind i think we have like a, a, a an image of of um you and emu but like grossly like evilly caricatured um versions with like huge pointy teeth and like hellfire around them and uh, like talk about you know being eaten <laughs> by by emu and ovek and things yeah so if I'm actually being told to go and touch them all, I'll go around each one of them and touch them. I mean, no, like that's oh. that, 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 as I said, I don't think I've mentioned it at all to you. So okay. it's up to you to do that. that. I just turn around and another guard and sort of a way of saying good job without saying it. Star Wars not yeah. Yeah. Um, I think uh, for like emu and stuff, as you're you're kind of looking at, you kind of see. That the that the the gob the goblies the gombles um are they're all kind of like slowly kind of they're not coming any closer um but they seem to be walking like kind of side to side and they apart from that one guy who's just kind of standing there staring at the the town. Is it like they're encircling the town? Uh, no, it's it's more like um they're uh sort of like pacing up and down um like that in a sort of line like that but oh but hey i'm just gonna start walking towards them okay why not catch up and okay. follow i thought you were i thought you were in the, the end yeah. oh okay i guess i'd be behind but once i've closed the door uh, in i'd like to follow yeah i think it's the fuck it like yeah that's how i'm feeling at this point so that's fair. Um, yeah, as you kind of like, um, maybe as you kind of like step out um, from the the sort of the, the gateway, the, the arch, uh, and walk towards them, um, it's, you, you kind of see the, um, there seems to be quite more zombies there, than, no more zombies, more, <laughs> more goblins there. <laughs> Um, than there were when you were fighting mm-hmm. earlier. Um, and um, they just seem to be sort of like um, amassing together. Um, and as you kind of like keep like walking forward, um, the like every step you take and every move you make... Um, mm-hmm. They'll be watching me. They'll be watching you. Um, no, like every time you take a step, it's like um, disrupt- disrupting like a puddle or something you see that kind of like ripple and the everything within that sort of fog sort of ripples so does it look illusiony uh, i mean it looks kind of illusiony um but i think it looks more uh, i'm trying to think of a good way to describe it but like also do you, do you want to give me ar- 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 if you feel like you would do something like that bread. 
Uh, yes, I will give you that. What well, bam? No. What well, bam? Yes, it is the first really? one. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think you can see that. Um, you know, as you take these steps and that that like ripple happens, you can like see that there is this sort of like magical sort of barrier. Um, barrier is kind of the wrong word, but I'm going to use that word because it's the only word I have. Um, surface. Magical surface, yeah. the edge of magic, the edge of uh, tomorrow, live down. Yeah, sure, edge, edge of magic. Right. Right. A, a land before magic, no. Um, yes. Uh, and as you kind of like step, you kind of see that um, it's it's not that they're not there, but they're somewhere else. Um, somewhere, but not here. Um, they're, uh -huh. they're kind of... Kind of like similar to that sort of um, wateriness of like the 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 portals in the that um, cultish place uh, at the and from session one, and um, uh, it seems to be like that sort of same so liquidy. Is it like, am I looking into what looks like? A barrier or threshold between yeah. places. Is yes, that what that's you're... that's what I'm going for. Thank you. Right. Um. So, okay. like, from like where you were inside, it like looks like fog, but when you like, come out, it's it's becoming more and more like that sort of um threshold between places. I activate my fans. Obviously. They applaud. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then... <laughs> And then, yeah, I guess I'll not upload the static image, but I'll upload the GIF. There we go, thank you. Two seconds. <laughs> do, do, do. Uh, everyone else, what's everyone else sort of like doing? Is everyone following Tilda? Or... Yeah, definitely I'm, quite close I'm, to Tilda. I'm still and, trying to work out the mystery of my dog. I don't even think I'm in the room. Um, there is no way. <laughs> uh, are you just kind of like staring into the, ooh, uh, staring into the, the, the caravan where Barker's was? Dig to uglier. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gorham, what are you? What are you doing at this point? Do I see the dog disappear? Do I see Dig Doglio staring into the thing? I think you. I think you. You see like Barker's. Uh, no, actually, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't see. You didn't see any of that. <laughs> I see. I see. Um, you don't see apparently. <laughs> don't see at all. You don't see. You're blind. Um, yes. So as as you're kind of like, if I, um, am I caught up at all here? Or am I still? Inside? Yeah, you can. You can. Have, you can have caught up. I think everyone can be. So Avengers good. assemble. Assemble. Not infringement. <laughs> Literally going to be like Thor. <laughs> Are we ready um, for round two? <laughs> Or actually, maybe Captain and... America would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think as you, um, ooh, I think as you kind of keep like stepping forward, you kind of see that um, it's like the 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 goblins who are moving around and and running about the place seem to be trying to um set in like. Um, they're carrying like stuff to kind of like set down like these little stakes into the ground that seem to be um, trying to light up and they're like firing like a little like beam thing at the sort of bubbly fog stuff. Um, and well, well, we'll just ignore that then. And um, I think that um, with your Arkiana rolled there. Uh, mm -hmm. I think you you can kind of assume that they're trying to create a way to get through. So it's almost like they're trapped on one side, right? Okay. Of the 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 do do dad. Yeah, the weird shimmery realm. In this. Yeah, uh, and I think um, there's there's probably a, a few of them like they're kind of like um, you can't hear them, but you can see them kind of shouting at each other and. Um, Maybe like the, the the more the the ones who are like kind of operating the stakes are. Does then in, in the field, as it were, look like they're the people causing the, the overlap? You know, like are there any like shamans casting blend realm? You know. Um. 
not that you can see you can't really see anybody um other than like so this this sort of like fog bubble thing seems to be taking up like a lot of the space but you can see like the if you kind of like looked down the edge like it, it kind of just like fog sort of rolls off into this little little cloud bubbly do that and it's just like this spot but you can't really see like anyone else around um, are you motioning for things on the map because the way, the way no you were i was using my i was using my arms <laughs> I see. I'm pretending really that can't, people uh, can't see me. Like, wibbly wobbly field of fog. Wibbly wobbly right. field of fog. And then circle of town and gate, and then obviously Tilda and the squad. Um, yeah. Have stood in between problems because that's kind of roughly the image I have in my head, but I don't know if I'm right or wrong in that. Yeah. Um. If I yeah. I thought the town was behind us. That is behind us. Uh, like, sorry, what was that? Um, if, we're, Amy? if we're here, town, there, behind us, fog thing, because we came this way to get to the town. Right, right, I see what you mean. And then we went into town and came out of town and we're like, oh my god, fog zombies. <laughs> I thought you were like, this, this was the town. That says fog, clearly, how dare you? <laughs> right, here we go. Here is my incredibly well prepared map. These wiggly wines is fog. Stuff, yes. Um, the time, which is part of the, this, this, like the the, path, the road that you took in. Um, and uh, and the, yeah, obviously that's the time behind you. Um, Maybe I think we uh, should use oh. the wall. Use the what? Sorry. Use the wall. I am the wall. I am the walrus. Um, <laughs> I think uh, uh, at that point as well, maybe Ovik, like you've you've kind of stepped up behind. Um, and as you kind of like stare at this fog, um, do you want to give me a hold on? Let me open my cheat sheet. Um, I'm about to find out. <laughs> Uh, I, I was going to say, I was going to say, like a, a mystic save or a wisdom save, I, but I can't remember if that's that is a thing. It, yes, it's a wisdom. It depends wisdom. what it is you're trying to do. Yeah, let's go effect. with. Yeah, we'll go with wisdom. Damn it. For I am wise. Dude. Nice. It's like the best he's ever gonna get. Yeah, it's pretty good then. That's yeah. pretty good. <laughs> yeah. So I think you you. You kind of like stare off into this like foggy stuff, foggy moosh, um, stuff. And as as like, you get the same sort of image as you walk towards it. That sort of like bubbling, uh, not bubbling, um, rippling effect that goes over it. Um, mm -hmm. and then you feel like a sort of like a a mental tug mm -hmm. at your at your it, like your thoughts, um, and like th you get the same. Um, the same sort of feeling that you had when the the nothingness appeared before you, hmm. but instead of the nothingness showing up, um, you you kind of like see in the the, the fog it kind of like splits off, um, that like a little bit appears where the the sort of like floating shadow humanoid thing is there for a split second and with its arm reaching out and then just vanishes and as that sort of happens the fog starts to dissipate a wee bit um and with it's the, the the goblins seem to be dissipating too and i think some of them are running towards the the wall of fog thing to try and like get more stakes in the ground and stuff but um it starts to just evaporate can i pick up a rock or something yeah just you can at the fog wall and just <clears throat> see what happens I I see the shadow. <laughs> Um, yeah, no. As, as you as you kind of like throw the rock at the at the fog wall, it does that. Um, it, I can't believe I'm going to reference this, but um, in the Phantom Menace, right. mm -hmm. when they're is they're shooting at the big complete? bubble shield that the Gungans put up, hmm. it's like that. Um, the the rock doesn't like pass through, but it doesn't. Um, it doesn't bounce off either. It just goes bloom and goes bleh. 
So isn't it the rock it doesn't like, pass through, it doesn't bounce off, but just like falls to the ground? Um, no, it, it kind of vanishes in the sort of like um, if you if you throw. It, I think the better way it would be is like if like you throw a stone into to the the sea, it makes that that water thing, right. obviously. Um, and then, but instead of like seeing it pass through, it just makes that ripple and goes. Right. So, did it disintegrate? Did it vanish? It just like, vanished. Okay, it vanished. Cool. Okay, cool. So I don't know if it, like if it went through. I don't know what happened on the other side. Yeah. If it went through. Cool. Yeah. Um, and like you don't you you don't see like anyone reacting to rocks and stuff like flying. Did anyone oh, look, else rock. see the shadow? Dude. Uh, no, no. That was just cool. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me, moi. That's, that's, I said that really weirdly. I think I was like half half deciding whether or not to say it like that, and then hmm. gave up and didn't. You've got Jar Jar on the brain. I have. <laughs> I've got a, I've got a lot on the brain, or the brain's just not um. But yes, mm. uh, so that's starting to to half thingy. Let's see if I just like shrink it. Oh, there we go. Flea bite, flea bite. <laughs> Boo. Oops, it does this. Like that until it's not there, and, and then that sort of like coldness disappears as well. And when it comes to like the ambient temperature, comes back to sort of niceness. Um, and I think um, you probably hear like people noises behind you. Um, like mm -hmm. coming from the town. Yeah, I guess I turn and walk back towards yeah. the town. Yeah, um, oh, there's, probably. yeah, there's um, like, I was gonna say substantially more people, but like anything substantially more people, there's not that many people, um, walking around, but there are like people, milling about, um, kind of in the town. Do they look? Like people that lived in a slightly burning town moments ago, or do it like people that have woke up from some weird reality warping? Grand yeah, I, I think I think yeah, they, they would if if someone had a look that would be like they woke up from some weird reality warping, it would be that similar kind of look. Okay. Um, For I sure, maybe I ask, like I walk up to whoever like whatever group of people I can approach first, and then uh, like. Just ask them, what day is it? Um, I think uh, one of the... And compared to what I know, the day yeah. is. And they would look very confused at you, and they would basically give you the day that was like three days ago. Um, whatever day that was. Three yeah, days ago. So like, yeah, three days ago instead of present day. Yeah. Um, so I think I'll just nod and say, it's getting chilly tonight. I would perhaps secure your doors and windows and just kind of nod politely and like do that kind of very curt like just touch them on the shoulder briefly and leave them alone yeah um, and return like to the group and tell them this very fact that yes the people seem to have been quite out of it for three days it seems i'd like to head towards the caravan place again yeah and um, like the the reception -y part or just where the caravans are the reception -y part yeah um you kind of the the door's um, locked from when the boy locked it. Um, I'd like to go to the boy and ask him what day um, that the that the the powers guy was last in. Um. Okay. The so like he just like burst into the tavern and just like beeline straight for him. Yeah. Like, I think initially, him. like when the door opens, he doesn't notice you, but then like maybe he he kind of looks up and then has that like split second of huh and then his eyes go wide as you know the the tormentor of his of his life has appeared before him yet again um and i think he just goes he like tries to like you know kind of like how people kind of push themselves up against the wall and uh, trying to escape the inescapable stuff mm. oh, inescapable stuff inescapable uh, doom that is approaching that is emu I think as he gets there, I'm probably walking in the doors all behind him. 
I think he's like he's on the verge of tears. I think um, if you like approach, you'd be like, but please, I, I don't don't want to. What day did you last see Monsieur Powers? Um. What day? What day? Um, he he left like well, what maybe three days ago, I think. And he said uh, he'd be back really? in three days. Is that... So is that actually six days ago? Now that's a good question. Ask him what day of the week, because obviously we'll yeah, yeah that, that's sort of what I meant. Yeah, like, what, what day? Um, so I think he would he would tell you the if you asked him what day it was, he would tell you that it's today, current day. So the people that have appeared have been unaware for three days, mm -hmm. and we have not gone in time, whatever. And the people that were here before that have been here on the same time as us. Yes, that would be. Uh, that would be a safe assumption. So, the assumption that Tilda is currently working through in her head is that Elven Woman is a time dilation device. And she appeared after mm. that guy left. And she put up the, like, the illusion of people dealing with a fire to buy herself time, I guess, to do something. Shrug. Mm -hmm. And that is what I have so far. Does anyone have any more? I want to know where the guy that's going to pay us is. And yeah. if he's going to come back because of this whole okay, 3D cool. thing. Yeah. That's all, all that cares about. Mm -hmm. That's fair too. To be fair, I sort of care about the same thing as Elvike and the location of workers. Um, I think, yeah, as you, like, step back into the town, Dig Doglio, um, I actually meant to say this and I didn't, so I do apologise. Um, nice. you, you you hear a distant bork. So, he, so, so he's in the town? Yeah, uh, like, as in, like, a bork, like, just, like, from the street. It's distinctly borker's bork. Do we hear it? Well, I mean, you can hear it if you want. It's purely to make sure he's not going crazy. Yeah, like, yeah that's fine. It's... Yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> Borker's Bork is borking somewhere. <laughs> Not far from here. Well. Mm -hmm. I just think, yeah, I think Tilly just... I think I'll just walk back to that location of the rift, to be honest. Yeah. I'll, I'll just be, like, there with my hand out, feeling for the magics, and I'm happy to be there until we have more plot. Yeah, that's fine. I'd like uh, to go to the town center to see if anything has changed. Uh, yeah, no, as as you can look up, it's still um it's as you left it, just there are um there seems to be more like people noises. Like if like after the woman screamed and disappeared there was that deaf deathly silence. Um uh and uh the like the, the ambient noise of the world is um is a like back in that sort of sense. Yeah, I think she'll just she'll just take some time and like maybe I'll try and like start walking about the perimeter of the town to feel if there's anything else more disturbances in the force, you know. Yeah. Um I just want to take my time and do that because I've got not, I don't have anything else. Yeah, like that's till there's drawing a blank here. Um, yeah. Um. Are you are you like act? I technically, don't even need to be in this town. I know. Like, <laughs> it's the part where I'm just like, we're here to buy his time to solve the Tzor problem that none of us are working on. <laughs> and that's the biggest issue that Tilda has right now. Yeah. Where we've just delayed spear guy stabbing us all. So, I don't know if MDL is going to let that sink into their characters a little, but Tilda has no answer to that yet. So, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. so as, as you kind of like maybe walk around the perimeter, are you actively, um, like, for example, detect magicking and, um, or general like magical residue perception um, stuff yeah, as you're walking around? 
it's whatever my investigate, my perception, and my arcana can manage because I don't have detect magic. Yeah, that's I fine. Just um, am magic. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's 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 my jam, and really, it's to make sure I can't see into other fucking fog realms. Really. Yeah, that's uh, fine. Um, yeah, you, you can kind of. Yeah, you, you can wander around doing that. Um, what, what's everyone else's um doing? It's like obviously getting quite late. I mean, Gorm, in game. Um, Gorm would like to cast detect magic and wander around looking for these magical people that have appeared. I guess I'll follow over the past three days. I'll follow Gorm. I think this time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, are you wanting to give me your? Oh, I was, I was going to say, do you want to give me your detect magic rolls? But um, I guess it's just a spell that you do, isn't it? Yeah. And he has infinite of it because I know that's... class features for great. <laughs> this is so good. Like I was like, ah, yeah, that's that's, that's pretty good. Uh, what's uh, Dig Doglio and Emu up to in that case? Uh, Dig Doglio is going to just sort of branch away, just while inside of the town, looking for workers or looking for like paw prints that may lead me to workers. Man, this is how you end up in a spin-off show, buddy. Be careful. This is how I end up in a fucking spin-off show. Yeah, sure. Y yes. Um, that's okay. Uh, do you want to for Stargate Atlantis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you wanting to to give me a a something a, a something roll? Flip six, Cal. Uh... <laughs> That's very bad, yeah. That's a very, very good, Arcana. very good something roll. Um, uh, survival for tracking. I was going to say, is, I was going to say survival or something like that. Um, oh Jesus Christ! I've got a minus one survival. Okay. Oh, yeah, and you want to give me a perception as well? And a perception. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> cool. Um, you find. Like, you definitely find, like, paw prints and stuff, and you're, like, following them around for everywhere, but to, to no avail. Like, it, every time you find, like, a track, you hear, like, a, a bork come from, like, the opposite direction, and you follow that, and you find a track, and then you hear a bork back from where you just left from, and things like that, and you've... you've... Every track you take. I love to think that he's actually <laughs> tracking Gorm. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you know what? I'm, I'm down for that. That's... Yeah. Um, Every work you make. Um, uh, and Emu, what were you? What were you up to? Sorry. Yeah, so can I just clarify that um, the the kid thought that um, the powers guy had been away for three days. Yes. And in and in our timeline, that's still only three days. It wasn't uh -huh. extra three. Yeah. And a whole bunch of people just appeared, so, thinking no, it was three days ago. That doesn't line up with what was said, does it? Because I thought you said the kid said today. Which is over today. Yeah. Yes. That doesn't match what you disagreed to with Alexander there. Yes, it is. That's, that's the guy what he left said, wasn't three it? days ago. Yeah, he said that at the start. So, three days and two day are different. Everybody knows this, right? Mm hmm. Right? So, you have both said the guy left today and the guy left three days ago. No, so he left is... three days ago. Right. And the the okay. question was whether or not that was three days or six days. Yes, and what was the answer to that question? Three days. Cool. So the kid wasn't time whammied, is what we're the saying. The kid wasn't time whammied, yes. Cool. Why the fuck did the kid not react to everybody else being weird and missing and gone? Right? Question. Emu, kill the kid. Like... Too obsessed trying to keep things in order, but not doing anything at the same time. Nope, that's excuses. Kill the kid. <laughs> Let's kill the kid! Duh! Kill the kid! Duh! <laughs> um, I would like to give him another good shake and say, um, uh, Goblins, what do you know about him? Goblins? Um, goblins are almost as scary as you. He's... When I think he tries to smile there. Um, I just bring out the hand and, like, um, wow. hold it up. Like, when was the last? When was the last time you uh, any were seen near the town? Oh, I missed the end of that. Sorry. 
So I, yeah, so I just hold out the hand. And be like, so when was the last any were seen near the town? Uh, I'm, uh, I, 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 I like, don't, don't know. Um, I, um, I like. Look, I asked him a while ago. I don't pay attention to these sort of things. I just try to do my best to to work and. And the caravaniers, none of them were reported being attacked by goblins. Yeah, no, nobody tells me anything. I mean, Mr. Powers is not um, liberal with his his information to me. I'm just, I just help out, you know. And do do I get the feeling he is telling the truth? Uh, yeah, I think he's he's like he's too like if he was lying, he he wouldn't be able to say words because he's far too like petrified of your existence. May I stand by Kathy Bates in this example, but okay. And <laughs> <laughs> um, how how old is the kid? Quite young. Um. I think I think he's he's probably the, the, maybe maybe that um just sort of like allowed to be working ish so maybe like sort of twelve thirteen ish. In my head, he's like kind of bad now. Nineteen, yeah. I yeah, thought I he was like... <laughs> yeah, but keep in mind, fantasy medieval lands. Fantasy medieval you know, lands, yeah. like you know, he's People like younger, of age. You're a monster. It's fine, you know. Why? <laughs> uh, he'd be an adult by now. Mm -hmm. um, then I'll just say, where does the uh, where do the adults go to drink? I think he would um, update your quest map with uh, a little pip on the, <laughs> the 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 scabby the scabby sailor, nice. which is a tavern down the road. Um, uh, to the to the north side of the of the the town. And where did they go to fight? Uh, I think he would. Um, I think he would like look around the room, and be like, "You mean like?" And then he would like you know do like a fisty cuffs sort of motion with his hands, like. Ah. I just I would just like stare. <laughs> Um, and I think he'd like lower his voice a little bit and say, "Okay." <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I no, yeah. His voice goes higher, but quieter. Um, yeah, uh, he says, "There's, there's some um, <clears throat> in the, the, the south part. There's a uh, underneath the and the placeholder name tavern." The less scabby um, seamstress. Um, yeah, um, and goes. He just tells you like but beneath, beneath, um, in the basement there they have a a club. <laughs> we don't talk about it though. <laughs> I sort of put him down. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Like he's a dog. What regard? You just like just 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 gently place him on the floor. You just bring his neck and then dump him on the shotgun. It's for your own yeah, good. Fair, he, did, he, he did break the first two rules of the club. So this is true. Like, yeah. It's a fair. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what the um... fuck is that? Oh dear. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably head to the, the less scabby seamstress then. Less scabby seamstress, hold on, I need to write these down. <laughs> um This kid's future. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um if he's twelve, he's only gonna be like four foot tall. I'm literally like twice his height. The um So yeah the um, thing about that's gonna be how like, people don't question the scabby sailor in, like, a landlocked town. Yes, I was. Like, I, I had... I was, like, we are a long way from a 
it's that's just a why portal to another that's... dimension yeah. surrounded by water. Clearly, it's the, it's the sea portal is in there. Um, um, you know, you go to the time portal and you're like, right, okay, sea. Um, well, that, or maybe that's why they're scabby because they, they you know, the, the, the sea dried up locker go. Yeah. <laughs> Seamstress. Cool. <clears throat> so, um, I think uh, Ovek and, and Gorm. Gorm, were you, as you're kind of like casting your detect magic and stuff and walking around, and Ovek's following you, I think you kind of, you kind of see like the, there is like the, the, the magical residue, um, like from where all the, the magic has been when uh like from basically it's as it was um it's what you'd expect or maybe not what you'd expect but what um someone yeah i don't um, think garmin know what to expect yeah but um you kind of you kind of get that the the magical red the stuff the magic the the <sighs> i'm basically wanting to know if the people who have randomly appeared have like a magical aura coming off them where it looks like they've been affected by something yeah so you definitely get that vibe that the all the people are um they've had some form of an effect on them um for well three days i guess but um for an x amount of time um what type of effect would it be perhaps <laughs> it would be some form of sleep effect or like some kind of enchantment magic perhaps. some form of enchantment yeah. Um, some form of curse or, <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not a curse, but yes. So um, can I pin down one of these people by looking for this, you know, mirage, magic, stuff, enchanting, aura, and try talking to one? Yeah, uh, by all means. We'll get say like there, there'll be just like one like maybe walks past you. Um, or just walking towards you, um, as you like go down like an alleyway, and maybe that's uh, where. Um, at the at the other side, the, the well behind you, you, like Dick Doglio kind of comes around the corner and sees Ovex back, um, from the tracks that you've been following, Dick Doglio. Yep. Um and uh yeah Ovex what what um did do you, are you just following and watching the tabaxi work or? Yeah, pretty much. Cool. Yeah, so a person kind of walking towards you down the the, the street, um, Gorm. Making my way downtown. Can I uh, sort of pretend not to be paying attention and accidentally brush against one, maybe hitting it with my tail or something, and then just turning and go, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't, didn't mean to. I'm in such a daze today. It's so, so strange. I feel like there's a fog on my mind. Uh, I see what you did there. Are you feeling strange yourself today? Um, I mean, um, pretty, pretty tired. It's fine. I don't, don't worry about it. Um, just I'll, I'll. I was probably in the way. It's fine. Um, and he seems a bit dazed and confused. Um, like. Um, Can I uh take a coin out of my pocket and you know? Do a like a sleight of hand trick with it, where I, you know, oh, it's obviously a gold coin, so he wants to pay attention, that kind of thing, and then, like, I click my fingers, and it's like in the other hand. See, see, if he's like capable of focusing on anything. Okay, yeah. Do you want to do do like a? Do you know what? You, you don't even need to roll for that. Um, as you kind of like do it, even maybe you don't even do it that well. Yeah. Um, and like he still kind of like loses track of where the coin is, um. Where it's like obviously like you've made the pam so obvious that it's like oh, it's been this hand, but he's, he's his eyes still kind of just follow where the quote unquote misdirection, um, is, and he's like oh, oh, wow, wow. Um. Just stone. Could I, uh, yeah. in a different voice? <laughs> oh God! 
like <laughs> in a different voice telepathically scream in his head and see if that <laughs> gets his attention and um, like, see what, like gives him a jolt <laughs> okay yes out of it. but like yeah. not in a voice that's obviously mine like a different voice where you'd be like what the heck yeah so you, you do that. That. yeah <laughs> <laughs> It, for me, it's more it's of a, a more a more intrigued into how you're able to do different voices. What do you mean? Like when you think it's, I'm just putting my thoughts into another person's head, so presumably I can think. Like when you think in your head, you hear a voice, so you, and you can change that voice yourself in your head. So it's like just like that. Um, Sounds like this. <laughs> Toll of the dead. I I think. I think um, what to do is. Because I think you you have to oh, hold on. Do you want to post in the thing? I want to read it real quick to see if it actually because I um, says anything about it. You can communicate. I don't think screaming counts as communication. Is my. I would argue that, but okay. I would very much argue that as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, just get the hell away uh, from me. <laughs> yeah, do you know what? Yeah. Yeah. You can you can scream in and you can like put on a brain voice. I feel like your brain voice isn't like your actual voice anyway. Um it's probably more the voice of their own like mind. Well how would I communicate with uh, it doesn't really matter. Like my my issue if I was a GM would be the are you trying to fake oh, out yes. something so it's, it's like performance oh, or right. deception for me uh -huh. right if that was my yeah, take, right. take on it if you're trying to mislead someone whereas because if you have an ability that changes your voice it would tell you right like sadly D and D's slightly more baseline annoyingly than that because. Yeah, I can imagine thinking in a different voice or singing in a much better voice than I have in my head, but D D doesn't give a fuck about that, sadly. Um, well, uh, yeah, either way, he hasn't heard me scream before, so if I scream, yeah. it's going to sound like nothing he's and heard I mean, before. So I yeah. can also, nobody's, reacting to the fact, nobody's reacting to the fact that you're a cat either, which is impressive. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because although they exist in this world, they are not common. Yeah, okay, yeah, you sc you scream into his mind. Um and I think I think that sort of like confused look sort of transforms into pure terror. Um as something screams in his mind and he I think he like blocks his ears with his hands. Um and just goes I put up no. a fake shot face. And he goes No, 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 no and he just like runs um I think he just runs off and like starts hitting his head against the wall. <laughs> Can I intervene at all? Like, yeah. Do you want to like grapple him or something? Or yeah, it would... I don't want to grapple him to the floor, but just like maybe grab his arm. Like, before restrain he runs him. Off. So like a, an, yeah. a, an athletics type. Dupli yeah, and just be like, what, "What's the matter? Are you okay? Are you are you with us?" So should I roll? Uh. Athletics. athletics yes uh, and now it's if if he's uh, resisting is it just the uh, athletics again ryan athletics or acrobatics his choice oh, okay hey. oh, I or do i do i just roll um i think i'm just confused <laughs> that's fair <laughs> um, I should ask Alvik to assist me, to be honest. You should have. Oh. Uh, All right, okay, so see if they don't have, like, the skills thing. Do I just roll strength? Yeah, it should be the stat, yeah, so strength yeah. is X. So I don't think it matter, because it's probably oh. zeros for both, so... Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, that, was to, that was to GM. That was a 16, by the way. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah, yes, it is. <laughs> Look, I will prove it. I shall prove As it. As he spam rolls the button until he gets a 16. That's the wrong chat, but that's okay. Um, 
yeah, that's not the point. Uh, yeah, so I think like you you try to like grab grab this guy, and then he just kind of like shrugs you off, and he like the I think blood starts pouring down his head. Um, as he like tries to make the thing in, I assume you've stopped screaming into his head. Oh yeah, it was just like a uh, a really quick one. I mean, like ah. Yeah, um, you 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 see him, um, sort of, um, like he kind of pushes you off, and he's, he's like hands are shaking, and um, I think he cries out in pain because he has just hit his head against the wall, and then he continues hitting his head against the wall. I don't know, like for me, it's it's way funnier. Gorm was still screaming while trying to <laughs> grapple with you. Uh... It's so much more traumatic if it's the other way. Like, I, I, what if I, I screamed once, and then he reacted that way, and then I didn't mean that to happen, and I carried on screaming. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, <stop laughs> um, yeah, and he, he just continues to hit his head against the wall. And I think it, he he kind of just um s kind of slows down and, like, starts to kind of slump a little bit. Um and kneels down in front of the wall, and he kind of rests his head against the wall, his blood sort of, like, dripping off his face into the street. Medicine check? <laughs> you just say that to him. Medicine check! <laughs> Med medicine check! Uh, yeah, just... He does not respond. He's not gonna die. <laughs> uh, you, 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 can, you, can roll, you can roll medicine, if you like. Um, I think uh, what happens is you you kind of like bend down. Maybe you kind of like oh like he he's gone completely kind of vacant in the like face. Um, he's still alive, but like maybe you turn to look at him to kind of you know maybe um dab down like the, clean up some of the blood. Um, and he just kind of lets you 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 do stuff like that. And I think um. As as you're doing that, you kind of maybe put your thumb onto like this forehead where he's been hitting his head. Um, I, do you know what? Actually, do you want to tell me how he dies? What the fuck have I missed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was uh, the best moments to vanish. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. Uh... I wish it made sense that I could even be nearby, but I'm, I'm probably still finishing the perimeter of the time box. Yeah. No, I'm not wearing it. Ovik is right there, but he can't. I don't. I, he wouldn't do it. What does Ovik see? Like, how does how does Ovik perceive all this to happen? Yeah. I just see a, a dude like freak out and then smash his head against the wall whilst you try and like bug the yeah. him, I guess. <laughs> the guy starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> God. You can't hug him. <laughs> <laughs> and you fail at that. And then he falls over, and then you go down and touch his forehead, and then apparently now he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like so. Yeah, so man, so uh, Gorm, what, what, what do, what do you do like wrong here? That like while you're like trying to clean him up, that kills him. Perhaps like he's having a seizure, and uh, like I tap his head and i turn him over i'm like you're okay and i'm not really noticing that he's spazzing out and just thinking that he's like kind of in a daze rather than having an actual seizure mm. and he uh bites his tongue and <laughs> it snaps in two all the way through and he drowns in his own blood okay yeah um right. as like you stand up and like, maybe maybe uh, um, maybe you see Ovik standing there, and Dick Doglio is standing behind him. <laughs> at this point, so I think maybe that's where you kind of like you you kind of uh, Dick Doglio you kind of walk up behind Ovik at this uh -huh. point as, as um the Tabaxi stands up and you hear just this gurgle, of like. I look at Dick Dog and say the weirdest thing just happened. There's like one final gurgle. Uh, as, as you say that. <laughs> Fucking, you know, that's it. Five for five. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to talk to this fella and he just freaked out. And, uh... So you killed him? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. At least I didn't mean. No, I, I swear I didn't. 
<laughs> we were just trying to talk, and I asked him about, like, if he was with us, and I showed him a coin, and he wasn't paying attention, and he just freaks out. Him. <laughs> oh man, um, may- maybe at this point you've kind of uh, just about finished your perimeter, um, Tilda. Okay. And y- you're probably quite relieved to 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 see that there was no real um there there was there was no real problem to begin with. Obviously, no uh, that um that there's no more of this weird um shimmer fog stuff. Uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, and uh, Emu, what, what, yeah. what, what, what was, what was he? Well, you were obviously talking to the to the kid. Did you want to like, did you continue uh, so, yeah, shouting I, I at him? Then started going towards the less scabby seamstress. Oh yes, that's right. Uh, so maybe we have it that, um, like, maybe if Tilda goes back into the 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 town, she sees, um. Uh, emu kind of heading uh, south to the kind of the south end of the town. Um, where where is the clusterfuck of RP happening? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say probably probably well, yeah probably closer to the east where the tokens kind of are in the that little circley thing. Um, so it's unlikely I would notice any of as opposed to noticing Emu going south. So. I feel like I have no no justification for witnessing any of that. So oh. I'm happy that I have no reason to go there. Um, you hear think... you hear the screams of a, of a <laughs> echoing <laughs> through the time. Again, <laughs> like I don't know. Again, like in theory, if I hear screams, right? So if, if I'm somewhat behind in the timeline, and I hear screams. Maybe I could run up and see something, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. I think I'd rather follow you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like you, you probably would hear like the screaming man, um, like maybe in the distance. But um, I don't know if I would ignore a screaming man in the distance. That's the only thing. I think I'd follow the screaming man. No, oh. like I okay. just wouldn't. Like I can't not. Right, there, Tilda wouldn't ignore that. It's dumb to ignore that. So, yeah, like, especially with all this going out. on, I suppose, like all all the weird. Yeah, like I finally did the perimeter. So we were going cool. That seems like a lot less magical bullshit. Huh. Hmm. I'll ignore that and go follow my friend. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. My I think. I, I, yeah, I think if, I, if we I do it like that. timeline wise, you know, Emu, you sort of leave the tavern, start heading um south. Tilda walks in, then the kind of distant scream of of a of a, of a man is tired in the distance. Probably by both of you, but um, if you set on heading thingy, that's fine. You know. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly that. So, at what point do I arrive and witness whatever I'm seeing? Is it as the guy bites his tongue? Is it as Emu's? Sorry, not Emu's. Sorry, is it as Gorm's explaining himself to the other two? I think it's it as, as um. Godly- yeah, I think I, when you get there, I think it's as like maybe maybe like round the corner you hear Dig Dog Leo's "What the fuck," uh, mm-hmm. and um, Gorm being like "The strangest thing happened," and then you turn the corner <laughs> and see right. these three people standing kind of round a to not a, totally meta bloody... this. I want to do a wee cheeky perception, right, to see yep. if I can justifiably. Okay, maybe so. Is the guy dying like he's going through the death saving throws mechanic, <laughs> or is he dead at this point? No, right? he's he's dead at this point. So if he was like after hitting his head, um, mm-hmm. if you if you counted that as him going down, that's fine. I can't do this. That's okay. That's fine. I'm good. With yeah. That. Um. You know, he hits yeah. his head on the floor. Um. That for one failed saving throw. Um. <laughs> Gorm makes everything worse by rolling him over. Maybe he hits his head again while he's having his seizure, and he bites his tongue for the last one. You know. Yeah. There you go. There's there's your Rookly mechanical check. death. <laughs> cool, I think I'll just walk him. And what happened to him? And look, and kind of like kind of crouch down near him and try and assess what the fuck happened to him. But 
kind of expecting to be updated. <laughs> and to sort of offer the exact same explanation as I did before. <laughs> Which was? He just freaked the fuck out and I was trying to get him to pay attention and he went ballistic and we tried to stop him but we couldn't, couldn't help it. Casualty of war. Does that have any okay, cool stuff on him? So, no, before that happens, <laughs> are you actively trying to deceive us beyond you causing him to freak out? No, I'm not. I'm just a lie by omission. Like, I'm not mentioning that I... So, lying by omission is still deceiving somebody, though, right? Can you see what I mean? You're still trying to mislead me? It's mislead. It's not deceiving. It's, it's definitely it's, misleading. Yes, though. but there's no misleading <laughs> stat. <Is> the... Yeah. <laughs> you can't roll yeah, misleading. Cause... Yeah. Yeah, because I want to know if I've got enough to work out that you're bullshitting me. Because um, it would be your deception versus my well, insight. Well, everything I've said is true. That's what I think. So it's up to yourself right. whether you want to do that. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It's not um, really my call at this point. I, th I, th I think maybe... it seems pretty meta. Um... Well, that's why I'm asking if you're trying to mislead me or not, right? Because you are trying to absolve yourself of the fact that you caused by saying this guy just freaked out but he didn't just freak out you caused him to freak out so that is a lie well right? he freaked out because of your actions yeah it's a tricky one because i don't yeah. want to roll if i don't have justification to roll right but at the same time i suppose i suppose it, it come down to if it does does gorm believe that it's it is because of Gorm, or is it just because the guy, like, well, he just freaked out? Why would he freak well, out I like think, that? I don't understand. I think Gorm definitely does realize it's probably him, yeah. But I would pause, pause it the question is, do you always think I'm trying to mislead you? Like, every time I speak, do you think, oh, I should check whether he's misleading me or not? It will... Like, Every time the I speak, you're going to have to do that role, or... So the more I'm learning about you, the more I'm realizing there's way more to you than you initially offer up. Like you play up this innocent act, but given our conversations we have specifically had, and the fact that you can psychically speak to people that I discovered tonight, right? There's a lot more going on with what Tilda thinks about Gorm than she maybe wants to reveal to Gorm herself, right? I already know you're a necromancer. So that's a thing. So yeah, she is suspicious as fuck of you. And I don't think that's out of character based on what's happened between us. You also have tried to steal her identity as far as she's concerned. So yeah, she knows you, you are willing to lie to be right. I don't think any of that's meta. Hope. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say like... As, I, again, as for what you've said for the role though, I don't know, because, yeah, like, this gets to the point where do you just lie by omission through the whole game and we don't get to right? Um, I think, yeah, if, if, if Gorm, like, believes that, like, is, like, goes, yeah, this is, this is definitely, like, my fault that this has happened, I feel like there is justification to, like, either for Gorm to, to roll a, a bluff or whatever the deception is. Deception, probably. Um, or, um, and or Tilda to do a... Um... Yeah, because like, mechanically, as far as D&D cares, which is the annoying, I asked what happened, and you chose to answer, and the answer wasn't specifically what happened, right? But, okay. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's a tough one. Uh... I think I'll just do the deception, then get this over with, and then we can move on. Yeah, because I'm probably going to fail my insight roll anyway. I don't really do that well. So let us do... It's a pretty good deceiver roll. It's a really good deceiver Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I still disagree with it, but like just to move on, uh, just get it over with. Yeah, so then, um, yeah, that happens. You, you, you kind of say you just freaked out, and um, Tilda's. Well, what, what, what does Tilda think, slash, say, or, or if anything? 
I don't think she's got any thoughts at this point. Like, I don't really have anything to at this point then. Because she wouldn't read in past that. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, a lot of weird shit has happened. She has no answers, and her, her current concern is that Spear Guy will kill us all. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I think so then. Emu. Um, ah, yeah. Have I found the less scary songstress? Yeah, it was um, not particularly difficult to find. Um, it's not a very particularly nice looking place. All, even though the name does suggest it's less scabby, I think the scabby sailor is probably the nicer upper class um, uh, premises, and the less scabby um, seamstress is a uh, kind of kind of more like dingy and wh where you'd expect, you know, a, a quote unquote fight club to be hidden, as it were. Um, and you kind of go in. There's maybe maybe four or five people just like in the bar part. It's quite dimly lit. Um, there's a fire on the go. Um, not like the place isn't on fire. There's a fireplace with a fire on it. The child also needs to die because he spoke about Fight Club. Just to add to his crimes. Hmm. Um, I guess go up to the sort of barman. There's one. Just yeah. Sort of ask. Um, is anyone. Just, just to add, sort of ask: Is there, is there any action tonight? I, I think he would be like, you know, maybe wiping down the, the tabletop, and he leans in, and he's like, "Who's asking?" He spits into a cup. Ding. Someone yeah. look. Some, uh, I was gonna say, uh, somebody looking to blow off some steam. I think he'd um, kind of look you up and down, um, I guess trying to gauge whether or not you're, like, f for real. <laughs> um, a cop. Uh, yeah, a cop. Um, yeah, bear in mind I'm like, uh, uh, like a five foot, not that <laughs> muscular. Yeah, and I, I think that there is like the... You know, they wouldn't hire him, someone as, even though you're pretty, pretty good in a fight. Um, the, their, um, the, the, the cops that here have very sort of, um, a distinctive look and they hold themselves a distinctive way with the sort of training that they've had and stuff. Um, or, well, I say training, whatever you could call training for a place like this. Um, I think he would just grin and he would like um motion like his head would like nod towards like a uh, a door behind the bar. Um and I guess that kind of signaling that it's back there. I Star Wars nod. <laughs> yep, yeah, um as you get like kind of go through there's like a stairway down um into the sort of basement area. As you kind of go in you can hear like a little bit of commotion um there's like maybe like a couple people um standing at the door um and they they kind of look at like a doorway into the um like a, a room in the basement part and they kind of stand there and go <clears throat> what's your business he twitches um, it's, so there's no one i can't see anyone fighting um, no, the, the, like there, the, so it goes. The stairs go down into like a room, and then there's like two guys standing in front of a closed door. Uh, Quite muscular. Um, I just pull out the, um, the goblin hand and um, say, um, uh, <laughs> um, "I am." Um, Looking for a little bit of physical diversion. Um, I think they're both quite shocked. <laughs> um, they look like real mean, tough, tough folk. Um, but as soon as you pull out a hand, that's um, well, you know, with this kind of like yellow oozy blood, um, stained and uh, kind of smelling pretty bad. They're like, 
And uh, is it like clearly a goblin hand? Oh, it's clearly a goblin hand, yeah. yeah. They go, uh, um, <clears throat> and uh, one of them just opens the door and goes in. And there's a, you kind of like hear, like um, maybe, maybe like somebody kind of shouting, going, "Come on, get him!" Uh, he, ha! Um, you know, as as like 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 a coach type person would do, fucking get up, ah, oh, punch him, yeah, right in the the nadgers, um, and you see uh, in the in the ring, there's um. Like it's basically, I say ring. It's basically just like four people holding like bits of like rope between them as corners, uh, and you see a uh, like a, a big burly human man, and this uh, this little gnome, um, kind of uh, just like standing there. Um, he's he's kind of like up against like the rope, and he's got like you know a few cuts in his face and whatever. Uh, and he just shouts, "Max power!" and punches the the um the 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 human guy square in the jaw, and the human guy falls down. <laughs> and um, he, uh, I think, it would kind of like zoom in on him, and um, slow motion. Yeah, uh, that sort of choo 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 choo. And uh, he like turns around, and then the, the the person standing behind him is like, "Ah, oh, good job, Rob. Good job." And we'll stop there. Jobby Bobby. <sighs> da, 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 da. Um, that's a really like random. We'll stop there. <laughs> yes. Um. Yeah. What shall we call it? Good jobby, Bobby. Um, <laughs> or anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Not so level up. Death cats. Um. Ah. Borking mad. Because that guy went fucking mad and killed himself. Um, and uh... <clears throat> Cat on a hot wooden roof. <laughs> hey, I've got it. Instead of tongue tied, <laughs> tongue died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really good. Um, that's, awful, that's so bad. I love it. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> oh, I guess the I guess the other one was the strangest thing happened. <laughs> Stranger things. <laughs> So yeah, I, I, I sort of said it in the, in the, in the way my character would, because, you know, he's from a criminal background, and, you know, he's, he's gotten his hands dirty. I just, as as Alexander said, it was perfect. So you killed him. <laughs> <laughs> just the, the intonation. Just yeah. <laughs> I think maybe, maybe put the question mark in brackets. Oh, dear. Um, well, I guess tongue tied. Uh, tongue died. Has has <laughs> votes. <laughs> so it's yeah, so it's so bad. I love it. That was great. Oh, didn't mean it. <laughs> I didn't mean it. This is you. You have the zig problem. Yeah, <laughs> I saw. I saw it. I was like, it's oh god, here problem. we go. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. It really is. I was like, oh man, this is this is like. There's sure there's a lot of Callum characters coming out of um some people today you know yeah waving you know bits of dead things i can't really speak to anyone i wanted um, to test my new level two toys all right <laughs> uh, I, mean, I would say they have a success rate to a degree right <laughs> yeah it's at least one death on your kill count um oh man yeah. that was that was madness that was utter madness um <laughs> Right, to summarize, right, Madness Boy, we saved a town, right? You saved so a let's town. Just, let's just, uh, we, we saved a town. Let's look at that. And Emu definitely needs therapy. That's definitely a thing that needs to happen. I think I'm about to get some physical therapy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean... I mean... I mean, you're. I guess. I guess. Um, Emu is one step closer to getting the people paid. Mm -hmm. Possibly. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I might just like, forget that or side of it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we get paid, does Thea get paid? Because I killed someone with my mind. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I feel like it transfers through me to Zig to Thea. No, I think it stops at Zig because Zig would kill it. So <laughs> Zig wouldn't kill it. Zig Thea would pick up the bones of the dead and try and get paid with those. <laughs> Take his tongue. <laughs> Look at his tongue. Oh man, it's dead. Straight from the horse's mouth. But that guy, whatever his name was, his mouth. <laughs> Poor guy. So Poor guy. Well, he was just—he was just like you know. Walking home, probably, from from a hard three days of doing something. Look, if he just paid attention, none of this would have happened. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's uh, true, right? <laughs> I feel like that's maybe generous to Gorm. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if anybody else has noticed that we have more problems than we did in the last time. Like, I don't know if he's, he's worked this out yet or not, but this is bad. Things have got worse. Things have got worse. A lot worse. Let's probably, let's probably mm -hmm. turn around and go back. I mean, I have a very useful um, goblin hand, so... Yes. You know, you scratch my back, I'll give you a goblin hand to scratch your back. <laughs> <laughs> I will I'll stick the goblin hand on a stick. But... <laughs> Do you scratch my back, I'll use this weird Dublin hand to scratch yours. Still tries to steal coins out of your pocket before infecting you know, somehow. Um, oh dear. Although, yeah. wouldn't this Goblin hand make us more a attracted to goblins, or make goblins more attracted <laughs> to us? Like, it's not a fucking rotting hand. Um, Maybe to undead goblins. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That seems like it's uh, on the horizons, though, with the looks of things, doesn't it? I mean... but it's like with sharks, they like spray... Um... Like uh, a compound made of that um, is produced by like rotting shark meat that uh, makes the sharks not want to go there. It's mm -hmm. a repellent. I mean, if goblins work like sharks in Callum's world, then yeah, we're we're quids in. Yeah, we? we'll always be covered in bits of goblin from them <laughs> in to avoid. Are there no goblin, goblin shark gifts? <laughs> <laughs> goblin shark. He's goblin <laughs> shark. The sharkiest goblin around. <laughs> it's just a shark goblin. <laughs> you steal your gold, then rip you in half. God, that is quite terrifying, isn't it? Jesus. That is goblin horrific. Cool. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> no. Just imagine like a Yoshi noise there. <laughs> like a Kirby noise. <laughs> cool. oh. uh, so, everything's level four, right? Um, level eight. Uh, <laughs> Good enough. Oh, right, yeah, that's um, enough. No. Yeah. Uh, Are you taking it? Uh, yeah, okay. Nice. Level eight. <laughs> already done. Already up. Already up. <laughs> Can't take it back. It's now. like next week everyone's going to be like, oh, what was that? What was that? 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, oh, just... sorry. 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Dear, 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 dear. Indeed. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna look my bins up. Like, I don't know, does MD have like a what the fuck we do next plan? Cause... Yeah, no, no idea. <laughs> I don't, wanna find I don't even know what dog. the fuck went on just now. <laughs> <laughs> Ovex still like, what? <laughs> just wanna find my dog. Oh, God. I'm gonna get paid. Yeah, yeah. I wanna get paid so we can absolve ourselves of that contract and then. Yeah. Obviously, we know there is no box here that we actually can. So, well, why was the, the the crazy people here? What were they trying to do? That seems like somebody else's problem, right? Mm. Like, that's well, they're connected to the thing. The thing. The box. Only insofar as the box was in a room with that thing. That's the loosest, most vaguest connection that I don't want to put any weight into because then we'd need to stay and look into this. You know, guys, I, I often like to think, what if we had done things differently from the fucking word go and actually given the box to the man who asked for it? I... Uh, nah, I don't see it. Uh, I mean, what, we spent what if time we in the had... of the begging of Bob and then there was a cop connected to that church. 
that, you know, try to take over a tide and... Nah, it's full. I don't, I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> getting weird with zero vibes. <laughs> it's... It's in what, sorry? Re-zero. Re-zero. No. I don't no, know I guess is. not. No. No. But maybe oh. if Callum's seen it, then I'm, I've not. this is not. the plot. I was trying to get him to watch it. <laughs> I don't know if we want him to watch it and if it's going to give him similar ideas to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, that plot never... doesn't happen until near the end of the season, so he'd have to watch like 20 episodes. Ah. Hey, you can right. just Yes, um, thank you for playing, people. Thank you for running. You for I had, I, running, I bro. had, I actually had fun, even though I am incredibly tired and my head's still sore. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I apologize for my brief zoning out. No, that's fine. Um, we're here to have fun. Uh, and three, two, one, Bidoof.